and now Cecil County in the world. Let's welcome Eric Copper. Thanks. Good to be here. Rapper, singer, songwriter. Yeah. Renaissance man. Oh, yeah. YouTube channeler, right? Yes, yes. My YouTube channel actually has uh, quite a few subscribers, 23,000 or close to 24,000 at the moment. So, wow. Yeah, it's 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 fun to get videos out there and music for the world to hear, so. And you you're going to perform for us tonight. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Well, all your many aspects of your art. Mm -hmm. What do you want to talk about first? Well, I recently released an album um on, it's, it's on all the digital distribution platforms. You can see it on Spotify, uh, Tidal, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, on, on everything basically you can think of. It's called Self Portrait, and it's about, um, it's about me and my struggles throughout life with uh, my mental illness. Because as, at eight years old, I was diagnosed with autism. And um, it's, it's been a huge part of my life. Just any, any, any development I've been through is centered around that. And um, I've had a lot of support through family and friends in my life. And this album, it's 10 tracks, basically deals with me at different points in my life and, and what I went through and just how I coped with it. And just talking about it, it's just, I wanna, uh, the message I want to get across is that your label or your, your illness doesn't have to define you. You can be whatever you want to be. And, and you just have to have the drive and will to want to be different. Right, right. And uh, it sounds like you've driven yourself to a good spot. Yeah. Are you, uh, I think we saw you, Cecil TV mm -hmm. captured you yes. at uh, Cecil College's yes. open mic. Yes, that was actually a song I wrote called Monster in a Bottle. My friend Joe Sharp actually sang the, the hook portion of that. Um, it was a bit of a fictitious song. I'm not a big drinker, but <laughs> it, was, uh, it, was, it was a good message, I think. Uh, that anybody, anybody deserves a second chance, no matter what they've done. So. Right, right. So, Eric. You, we were talking earlier, you don't play a bonafide instrument right. like guitar or anything, but you write these songs. How right. do they come to you? It depends. Like, sometimes I'll get an idea for a song in my head, and then I'll search for um, the right sound. And then I'll, um, usually producers online, they post uh, beats up for, for you to purchase leases to. And if I find the right, if I find the right beat and the right sound, I'll, I'll purchase a lease to it and then contact the artist that made it and we'll work together with it. And um, otherwise, you know, sometimes I, I, I do parodies. Like I, I take an original uh, original song that's popular at the time and I make a, a funny version of it. Like if, if, if you know Weird Al. Sure. Yeah, Weird Al, Weird Al's a big inspiration of mine when it comes to that department. So I just try to, you know, make make humorous songs. And when it's not that, it's, it's the rapping that I do. Okay, Copperhead. Copperhead. How Copperhead you, is my artist name, yes. How did you get that name? Did you give it yourself or somebody call you that? Or? It, was, it originally wasn't my rap name, actually. I went by, I, I just thought of a name um, in, in high school and I called myself Ajax. And that didn't pan out well because everybody kept going, you mean like the dish soap? And I was like, no, mm -mm, not like the dish soap, like the Greek hero. But then I just got tired of that question. And I, I, I thought about, because I really respect my father and my father works in um, a warehouse in Northeast. And uh, at work, his nickname is Copperhead. And I, I looked at my last name and just thought of something that would be punchy. And, and I figured settled on Copperhead because it sounds very cool. And it's got an emotional connection to me because I really respect my father. So Cool. Got a little bite to it. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. Like I like the snake. <laughs> like, like your song. Yeah. And uh, what are you going to be uh, rapping? for us. Tonight. Well, tonight I brought two songs. Um, one song is actually the title track for my album, so it's going to be called Self Portrait. And that's kind of like, I, I, I made it the title track because it kind of neatly wraps up um, in three verses everything that the album is trying to convey. And then the next song after that will be um, something I wrote about my grandmother who passed away. And um, towards the end of her life, she was struggling with uh, worsening dementia and she had multiple sclerosis and um, I wrote a song from her perspective because uh, a few of the things she said towards the end of her life really stuck with me and um, I just decided to write a song to pay tribute to her so that's going to be from her perspective it's called Die With Dignity. Well you know what that's that's good for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. um, you're performing where next? Um, I usually perform at the open mic at uh, Elkton Station, Cisco College. That's the second Friday of every month. Right. 
But um, yeah, generally I try to get on stage wherever I can. You can you can find me online. Uh, like I said, my YouTube channel is Eric Copper, uh, E R I K C O P P E R, and uh, you can look up my artist profile on like Spotify and everything. You can just search up Copperhead. Cool. I'm sure our viewers are going to do that, and we're going to hear it tonight. Yep. Thank you. No problem. Thanks.